Loads of questions in, all for you, Maro. People that want to get to understand and see what goes on. So the first one on screen from James Cooper, who's live on Facebook. Maro, have you kept hold of Bill, and Bill being the mascot <laughs> from the British and Irish Lions tour? Yeah, I have, actually. Um, he's very safe at home. He's in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, he's uh, with the rest of my clothes, so he's, uh, he's safely Some protected. Some in there and stuff, from, so he's comfy, or...? <laughs> is it just on top of your wardrobe? Uh, no, he's, he's actually in it. It's, uh, you know, it's, 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 there's a bit of room in there, so he's uh, there, comfortable. It's not no real, Benny. It's not, it's not no real. Yeah. He's probably a lot safer at home because on tour they try and sabotage you, right, and make sure that you lose it because yeah. there's fines associated to, yeah, it was to losing Bill. I'm not even going to lie, it was very stressful. Tougher than the games? Uh, not quite. <laughs> is, it, is it like um, a, an Olympic torch? Does the same one go round, or do you keep that forever? So I. I Fortunately, get to keep it. So um, Stuart Hogg got to keep his, and I've I've made sure I've got to keep mine as well. So it's it's nice to have, um, you know, a good little bit of memorabilia from the tour. Um, but yeah, got to keep it. Very good. Okay, we've got another question from Twitter from I'm a realist. Um, Maratoja, how did the Lions camp differ from an England camp? Um, it diff it was different due to the very nature of of what it was. Obviously, with a Lions camp, you're, you're spending time with people from four different nations, whereas England's the only one. Um, so you often get these different kind of, like, you know, obviously dialects and trying to understand people. <laughs> um, I remember when I first rocked up, I was sitting on a table with Welsh guys and Scottish guys. I was like, sugar. I can't understand what these guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there a difference? People talk about keeping the Lions heritage of having a social tour, but also um, doing the professional side of things now. Is there a difference there? Was, was there a bit more opportunity to go out and let your hair down? Yeah, um, I, I, the, the Lions it was a, definitely a lot more um, loose <laughs> than, uh, <laughs> than, than what I was used to. But it was good, you know, we, we, we got to spend some time off the field with each other, you know. It is not, you know, to spend, to go on the Lions tour to New Zealand is, you know, it's quite rare, so. All in all, it was a good experience. Just how wild? How wild did it get? Uh, I got Big very nights. wild after the last test. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, all, all controlled up until then, but after that, yeah, it was, it was, it was go wild. Go on, go on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just save it for after. Got another question from Greg Miller on Facebook. Um, Mara, so what's going through your head when New Zealand performing the hacker? Um, so, with the hacker, obviously, it's, it's, it's you know, they. It means a lot to New Zealand players, and as you know, it's, uh, for the All Blacks, it obviously gives them strengths. Has has a, lo a whole load of spiritual meanings to that. But for me, obviously, I'm not from New Zealand. Um, I'm from here, and um, so I don't have the same connection they do to it. So for me, I watch it, try and be respectful, but ultimately, it's what happens on the pitch that matters. The hacker essentially is a dancer then which gets them rived up. And they said you're not from here, but your roots and heritage is Nigeria. One thing I've seen, you're a super talented guy, do lots of things, but you can dance as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this isn't a stitcher. It's more, I'm just seeking a bit of advice because we've seen the celebrations in the changing room where you're up and... That's, that's, yeah. can, you, can you help me? <laughs> so, can, you, can you just stand up and just, just talk me through it? like what I need to do? Am I, am I right in thinking you should start with this top off? So how does it go? Am I gonna do this? Yeah. <laughs> Question, Nick, Nick Larkey from Twitter. Who's the toughest opposition second row in the Prem or Champions Cup? Um, in the Prem, I, put, I, think it's, I think it has to be one of the you know, other England locks. Obviously, I play with Cruiser for both club and country, so I don't have to go up against him. But I'll say Courtney and Joe. They're, they're definitely um, you know, two top-class operators. And on the European level? European level, um, they tend to be a bit bigger in Europe. They, uh, <laughs> they, they tend to be, have a little bit more meat on them. 
So um, it, it was difficult last year. Um, oh, I don't even know. Didn't even notice them, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even notice them. Yeah. Do you know what I noticed something about you, Maro, watching one of the matches on the touchline last year, how vocal you are on the pitch? Do you realise you're even doing that? Yeah, I'm the one who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> No, but sometimes you're just shouting. Like, so, uh, it's sometimes it's just this raw kind of energy yeah, going for you. Um, yeah. Funny, because Craig talks a lot, but he doesn't yeah. know he's doing it. No. <laughs> and I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, that's, I think it's something I, I actively try and do. You know, I try and, you know, give my team energy, um, you know, first and foremost through my actions. But I think through your voice and through the way you speak to and influence others is another way you can do that. Absolutely. Okay, another question. Facebook. Ashley Shingler. If you could pack down of anyone past or present, who would it be? Ah, oh, good question. Past well, it's a bit present. brutal. You've not automatically answered that with Brenny <laughs> Kay. Just that. <laughs> You're like, good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> um, past or present? In, in, the, in the row, I assume. Elvis present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Growing up, I was I was a big fan of the South African locks, uh, Victor Matfield, ba Backies both. Uh, you know, I, I really respected what what they did. Um, I think it would be pretty cool. Obviously, completely different eras, but John Eels, yeah. I think that would be quite quite an interesting to pack down with. You know, the big man in his prime. I yeah. think that would be quite cool. Well, he was another very athletic second row, wasn't he? He was kind of ahead of his time to a certain extent, I suppose. Um, I can't wait to see you back in action again in the Premiership. I cannot wait to see the Premiership kick off again. It all starts on Friday night. We are up and running. Thank goodness. A brand new season. Gloucester against Exeter. Gloucester